Oh goody, I've just returned from shopping with the latest, greatest video game for the PlayStation 4. Let's stick it into the console and get started. Oh, um, fuck. Unrecognized disc. Are you sure? This is from EA themselves, PlayStation. Are, are you sure? Yes, yeah, so as you can see with my copy of Battlefield 1, which is brand new, and it does this with other games as well, not just this one, including Just Cause 3, which was brand new from Square Enix. It doesn't do it with a set of Corsa for some reason. Uh, all these games, brand new copies, there's no damage on them, no defects. And quite frankly, for the last couple of months, my console's becoming more and more of a nightmare. It's flashbacks to the PlayStation 3 generation of just unreliable and just the impending feeling of death of your console. And I don't know if that's the case with this generation, but it certainly feels like it. Now, I thought that this might have been just me. It might have just been a small error. But looking on forums and iFixit websites and PlayStation's own website, and it's not looking good. There are lots of reports of the same issues and many people are putting out different theories of how to fix this some theories that go as simple as just switch off your console unplug all the leads give it a couple of seconds and plug it back in again simple off and on technique I don't think that's gonna work because I've tried that many times because I move my console from time to time and it gets unplugged and moved and I still have the problem so I don't see that being the way to fix it and they also suggest giving it basically a defrag, so basically you reformat most of your console. I, uh, I don't really want to go through that's hours of effort when I, it might not even work. Cause especially when it seems like a hardware issue. But this is a thing that's haunted consoles for the last generation or so, is the shelf life. you always got this in the back of your mind knowing that it's nice for the first year or so, but after that there is no guarantee that your console will survive for any longer. It's tragic, because I fell in love with the generation which was PS2, which is still bulletproof. I still hanker for those times when I know that I buy a console and it's not just going to die off the lens, or the, it's just going to stop reading discs one day. Because at the end of the day, as I pointed out in my PS3 destruction video, if it's a console and you can't play discs anymore, then what is the point of owning it? You can buy a Blu-ray player elsewhere, you can do the same thing with other, with other t pieces of tech. So if you want to play your games, that's mainly its job to do, and if you can't do that, then it's practically useless. So where do you go from here? I'm in the same boat. I am out of my warranty in my case, so I can't just send it in for free for servicing. And even then, reports of servicing when the official service, I must point out, by Sony, people have reported when they've sent them back and they've come back, yes, the problem might have gone away, but the console tends to run louder, it just doesn't run as good, it, you know. And I've seen this from first-hand experience. My friend on the PS3 generation sent his console in to get the lens repaired, I think it was the entire drive. And it didn't work that well when it came back. And this is all scary things. Because then at that point you're saying, right, when my console dies, which I am already predicting it's going to, I have to either buy another one, brand new, because there's no point risking buying used because you're just going to end up in the same problem much quicker as I found out in the PS3 era. So you either have to buy a new console, upgrade, or leave the PC <laughs> is the only real options that I can see. And quite frankly, I I hope there's an easy solution to this. If you look on the forums, you'll see many different solutions. Um, and the one where taking it back to Sony seems to be the most obvious and the most plan uh, the most abundant. So what do we do from here? Well, all I can say to you is, if you have this problem, uh, I feel for you because I've had this problem. I have it right now. It's terrible. 
because not everyone can afford to just run out and replace their console. Consoles aren't that cheap, and even then, you shouldn't have to. And there's no reason, there's no logical reason why my console shouldn't work. For the first year of ownership, it barely played any discs itself. It, it was used as a, a media player for playing YouTube and Netflix and etc. So it really has no excuse. I, I don't know what to do. I'd love to hear your comments. Have you been in this situation yourself? Have you come out the other side of it? And let me know what happened in your scenario, in your case, because we all need an answer for this. Because it's all great with a PS4 Pro coming out and everything else, and then obviously we're expecting the next generation, the PS5. But really, if the generations are this going to be as unreliable and as short-lived as this generation and the last, I am not interested, and that would definitely push me more towards buying a PC. I, PCs are a nightmare. I've owned them before, and that's what put me off PC gaming. It's because the rig you need these days, the actual power you need, is, isn't that cheap if you want to run all the games that you want to play. Plus, if you're in my case, where you want to record and edit as well, you really do need a powerful computer there. So that's the kind of state of the market, not only with games asking for too much money, ask, holding content back and season pass bullshit and pre-order bullshit and just terrible games coming out. This is not needed. I mean, last thing you need is your console not to want to play the game to even find out if it's shit. And that's the situation of console gaming. It really is. Now obviously consoles being as fettle as they are, some people might not have this problem and I wish I was in your boots to be honest because I don't appreciate consoles not reading discs. And here's the, a massive problem that Sony you can address. It, one, put more R&D, more quality into your lenses because, and to your, to your drive, to the, to the drive in general because I can't, this is the biggest fucking selling point of a console is it plays video games and if it doesn't play them for very long then it's not much of a selling point is it now two Sony you can do this when you someone purchases a game on disc on a hard copy and they put it into their console and it's synced up to your network why not allow them to download the fucking digital version if for whatever reason their hard copy won't work is this so unreasonable Yes, this is also the problem that the console has hardly any memory. And even when you have loads of memories free and available, it still says, I don't know, you need to go to system software management, uh, and, and you need to do all your shit, you need to delete shit, when even there's half the memory is available, and I don't need all of it for what I'm using. It over... It's just... The PS4 has been a nightmare. It really has. It's been slightly more reliable than the PS3. But where I'm sitting, it's still worrying... They obviously don't care about it because they move on to the more upgraded versions, the PS4 Pro for example. So where's the incentive for them to care about the PS4 owners? I don't see it anywhere. I mean, Sony please, just make this one thing sorted. At least give me the peace of mind that if it breaks and I can't put discs in anymore, that at least I can download all the games that I already own. So at least I can just play the digital versions instead, even if it means I have to keep deleting the fucking things and rotating them so I can only play one at a time on my fucking cons. I hope you can agree with me that this is quite an important issue. It's not just a, a clickbait video, it's not just trying to make drama and all these pandering bullshit words that are getting thrown around on YouTube these days. <sighs> Sony, I wish you could do something about this. Take some steps to sort this out for the future editions of consoles and set up some sort of better service plan because if people are sending it back like they were in the PS3 generation and the reports of this current generation are very similar saying that the consoles do go away for servicing but don't have any guarantee that they're going to work when they come back what's the point in servicing something if you make it worse potentially I don't understand that to this day and you pay for the privilege of that so I don't know I'm definitely not moving to the Xbox side because there's no real reason to me to go there. I'm not moving just for Forza. I have more brains than that. Yes, I'd like to play that series and stuff, for example, but I'm not willing to pay the entire price of a new console and etc. for that. And uh, Consoles, consoles, consoles. Get your game sorted. Literally. Get your act together. 
and start doing the basics fucking well. It's not that much to ask of you. Ah, <sighs> please PlayStation, sort it out. Okay. I'd love to hear your comments, let me know. Have you managed to fix this problem? Have you got the problem and are worried too? And maybe we should get together and maybe give Sony a bit of a headache. Because, quite frankly, this is not acceptable. And from what I'm aware, it's been happening with Xbox side as well, so it's not like they get off the hook. And I'm pretty sure it'll happen with other console makers too. It's the most important part of your system. Some, most people, well, quite a lot of people still use discs. I use discs, Joe, why I use discs? Because if the console dies, I can keep my discs and put them in another console. How's the irony there for you? <sighs> you really can't win. Unless they help us win. Come on, Sony. We believe in you. You do love us, don't you? You do love your fans and the people that buy your products. Well, support us. Don't leave us in the dark when you know your, your hardware is going to crap out on us and leave us in the dark and leave us fucked. Out of warranty. Out of games. Out of options. Apart from to fucking leave. <sighs> I'll see you in the next video. For now, goodbye. I'm gonna go try and get this disc to fucking work.